The greatest happiness of life, is the conviction that, we are loved, loved for ourselves, or rather, loved in spite of ourselves. Be like the bird who, pausing in her flight, a while on boughs too slight, feels them, give way beneath her, and yet sings, knowing she hath wings. Change your opinions, keep to your principles, change your leaves, keep intact your roots. Have courage, for the great sorrows of life, and patience for the small ones, and when you have laboriously accomplished, your daily task, go to sleep in, peace. Son, brother, father, lover, friend. There is room in the heart, for all the affections, as there is room in heaven, for all the stars. There is one spectacle grander, than the sea, that is the sky, there is one spectacle grander, than the sky, that is the interior, of the soul. Freedom in art, freedom in society, this is the double goal towards, which all consistent, and logical minds must, strive. When grace is joined, with wrinkles, it is adorable. There is an unspeakable dawn, in happy old age. Death has its revelations, the great sorrows, which open the heart, open the mind as well, light comes to us with our grief. As for me, I have faith, I believe in a future life. How could I do otherwise? My daughter was a soul, I saw this soul. I touched it, so to speak. There are thoughts, which are prayers. There are moments when, whatever the posture of the body, the soul is on its knees. I met in the street, a very poor young man, who was in love. His hat was old, his coat worn, his cloak was out at the elbows, the water passed through his shoes, and the stars through his soul. The supreme happiness of life, is the conviction that, we are loved, loved for ourselves, or rather in spite of ourselves. Dear God, how beauty varies in nature, and art. In a woman the flesh, must be like marble, in a statue the marble, must be like flesh. Mankind is not a circle, with a single center, but an ellipse with two focal points of, which facts are one, and ideas the other. We see past time in a telescope, and present time in a microscope. Hence the apparent enormities, of the present. He, who every morning plans, the transactions of the day, and follows that plan, carries a thread that, will guide him through a labyrinth, of the most busy life. When God desires to destroy, a thing, he entrusts its destruction, to the thing itself. Every bad institution of this world ends, by suicide. To give thanks, in solitude is enough. Thanksgiving has wings, and goes, where it must go. Your prayer knows much more about it, than you do.